Yeah. Him and Zach and Jake, yo, it's the season they say. Caitlin Clark got the arc, three points she make. Scott Stein, a big booty daddy, flexing on the stage. Making math look easy in a wrestling cage. Lamb, holy chatter, cheese head dreaming. Fantasy drafts, every line up scheming. Talk sports, hot takes, got you screaming. Season eight finale, it's the Flurry Sports team. Flurry Sports always bringing the heat. From the court to the ring, never miss a beat. Season eight, wrap it up so sweet. Zach and Jake in their podcast seat. How about that? How about that one? I'm knee jerk reaction. We saved the best for last. It's that, pretty good. That I'm, might I'm be the one you, I'm like most. I'm definitely gonna listen to that one again. Yeah, I'm telling you, AI is getting so much better. Again, they talk about Lambo leap and stuff like that. No mention of in my prompt of Packers or anything, by the way. And then all I said is uh, we talked about during the season, we talked about Caitlin Clark or WNBA hating Caitlin Clark and Scott Steiner, the big booty daddy. They brought up Steiner math. I did not That's crazy. Dude, it's every time I hear AI, I'm impressed, but alarmingly so. Well, there's multiple things <laughs> happening with technology. At the Brewers field, 11 people got injured because of an escalator. But this AI does know about Steiner math, so it kind of balances yeah. out. Okay, let's not glance past that because in case people haven't heard this, because I think it's easy to be like, haha, escalator related injury. It was a video. Well, I haven't seen a video. I don't, they have not released it. And I think it's because it's gnarly because there were 12 folks on the escalator. Six of them were still in intensive care as of last night. Yeah. Yeah. Not you know what an escalator life people needs to do. It was a, here's yeah. what we know downward moving escalator, and the cause was an acceleration. So yeah, it was not a sudden fast. stop. I I think it slammed 12 people into each other as hard as it could. God, that's incredible. <laughs> that that like that's everybody's fear since escalators started. We're like, we're always just like, haha, this is fun that it's moving, but we never keep our eye off of it. I know we're standing in place, but I'm watching it just in case. Do I put my hand on the rail? I don't know. Are they going the same speed? That's always weird. Sometimes they're not. Like and but then these people these people's worst nightmare came to by the way, baseball. So I'm guessing the average age on the escalator was 74. Like these people could have died. 74 or 12. Like how many were True. children, how many old people? I also think I hadn't thought about that. Dude, what if it was the rail? Maybe because everyone puts they, their they, arm they on. They can't there. let go. Yeah. Yeah, then just boom, shoulders gone. True. Yeah, I've been there. I understand that. Like, who knows? <laughs> Truthfully, also, I don't know. You know who we haven't talked about in this? Can we get someone to check in on the people on the up escalator? True. Why did that one see? I thought they were connected. Um, I think so too, but maybe like the acceleration up was just a little less impactful. But I, I do feel like they need some free counseling sessions. <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't probably make a guy contact with someone and then you saw him get mortal combated into the ground. At least let them ride down the Brewers' slide. We, I mean, we saw how that happened for that Dodgers reporter. He broke his arm, but I'm sure these people <laughs> would love to do it. By the way, one of the best videos on the Flurry Sports YouTube page is yeah. that one. It's the right. one I go back to. Um, I will say this. I had some sympathy. I always think about the now that we've gone more into, like you actually know people in the sports industry, getting to talk to people who work at these sporting venues my brain immediately went to there's someone high up in the Brewers organization who's like, great game today. Like the general manager at some point was like, great game today. Wait, what was that about an escalator? Oh, like, for sure. That moment of like, what, why, why are all the TV cameras here? What's going yeah. on? Like that is not their job. And the Brewers no. manager is out here answering questions about public safety. Like that stinks. It's so stupid. That's why then we, if they say something dumb about it too, then they're like, oh, what? look at this moron. <laughs> like he doesn't know what he's talking about. I was waiting. Player. It has not happened. I was waiting for someone to be like thoughts and prayers to the people in the elevator. I thought for sure that would like, <laughs> you know, you don't know what's going on. So wait, an if, escalator? What do you mean? If somebody died, the conspiracies that would come out would be exactly what the sports world needs right now. It's like, I think that was last season. It has to be. It couldn't have been earlier this season. I think it was last season where the White Sox fan, like a, a gun went off and shot somebody and they were like, the lady snuck the gun in under her fat folds. 
that was like the accusation. That's how she got the gun into the park. And they were asking the manager, like, what are you going to do about security? And he's like, I don't know. No like, fatties. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you going to do? And it's just like, it's crazy because the person who got shot didn't realize it for like an inning. Like baseball, when baseball things what? go wrong. Yeah, you got to look that one up. That, that, that story is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, yeah, someone got shot because the person who brought the gun in was able to get up and depart uh, before people oh. realized that they were shot because the person realized the gun went off, but it was like muffled and so out of place that someone was like, they got hit in like the leg and they were like, what the fuck hurt so bad? And then they looked down and they're like, I, I've been shot. Like what the <laughs> fuck? So uh, yeah. And then they had to call the police. And so that's my thing. It's like baseball. It's like when things go wrong, it's like, what do you mean? The escalator sabotage. I got to say the person who got shot didn't realize it until later. They love baseball and they should have <laughs> lifetime passes. Like they couldn't keep, they literally couldn't keep their eye off the ball. They're like, this is electric. I'm sure a bee just stung me. I'll look down later and no, went straight through their calf. They either love baseball or listen, it's a Chicago game. So it's like that Midwestern dad who's like, oh, I just pulled something. Like it's yeah. like, dad, you've been yeah. shot. There's a bullet in your leg. Like, can we <laughs> take a break? Call a medic. No, I'm fine. No, it's the third inning. It's tied. <laughs> you think I'm going to miss Lance Lynn giving up another homer? <laughs> yeah, that's Gotta right. stay in. That's right. Uh, this is this is the season finale of the Flurry Sports yeah, Podcast. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Brought to you in by stairs. At, <laughs> stairs. Yeah, no kidding. Or are moving, uh, moving sidewalks, are they still a thing? Do people freak <laughs> out about them? Do those ever I, malfunction? Um, I'm sure they do, but they're horizontal. So, you know, but they're still things. though airports. Like if you step off of it, you're going to, you're going to rip that ACL. I've seen yeah. that, I've seen that time and time again. But uh, as we said last week, season finale, every other week from now on, we are going to be uh, doing a show. So we're not completely off. We're going to be with you through the whole summer. The Florida sports summer is starting. Yeah. We talked about the summer of love. That was just the prelude to the real summer shenanigans that we're about to get into. So uh, every other week, there will be a show here. Don't worry about it. Go to the Florida Sports YouTube channel in the meantime as well. There's We'll have these episodes up there. And Jake's going a little bit viral. Look at him trending for WWE somehow. I, I, a not little bit viral. Yeah. Yeah, the views, I feel like, aren't as impressive as the actual accomplishment was. But, <laughs> you know, yeah, it, it was cool. I don't know. Um, if you typed in Roman Reigns, you saw Jake's face. Like that that's the why is that a thing? Uh but that that and was six hundred people clicked on it. Yeah, people six hundred people thought that could be Roman Reigns. I'm not sure. <laughs> I know. The metrics are all over the place. The Google hits, amazing. The views, fine. Honestly, we're working on it. So I'll I'll take the views. They're good. That transfer into comments likes, we need to work on. So I think yeah, I come like on, people. we got some people. <laughs> we engaged not that many so we're working on that part i i will say please support anything on the flurry sports channel tune into the i don't think so podcast other podcasts going on during our uh little bit of a hybrid summer but anything you can do to support the videos we're putting up especially the fantasy booking videos will be good comments appreciated uh yeah and uh Comments and feedback are good. The one I got from a friend who watched it, which is super fair, uh, is it went up. And then that night, Paul Heyman seemingly written off for the rest of time. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, to be honest, though, that helped the views. It did, it did help the views. And to be honest, if he comes back, it's going to look a lot like what I predicted. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, though, if he will ever return. But if he does, there's oh, no really? way he doesn't come back. Brock Lesnar piggyback which is what I'm <laughs> hoping for. Yeah, or probably Brock Lesnar's daughter, to be honest. He'll just be on her. If one Lesnar like, goes down, we can replace him. I want her story to be that she debuts and everyone thinks she's Brock. Honestly? <laughs> it takes like weeks. And then people yeah. are like, why is she wrestling Becky? Brock really <laughs> grew his hair out. He really loves his <laughs> ponytail. This is crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, Flurry Sports Summer every other week until the NFL season will be on. Um, we'll, I think we have a chance here to experiment with some different segments, yeah. different lengths, different stuff like that. So if you have any suggestions, uh, you can comment them on Jake's Roman Reigns YouTube video. 
go ahead and do that there. Or send a letter to Hannah Bruner at Elk Mountain School District. She loves to read those. Um, but yeah, we may be doing also more wrestling stuff. We may be doing for sure Olympic stuff. Who knows? Starting this Tuesday night, by the way, as well, immediately after New York, New York Giants Hard Knocks, which is starting now, uh, we will be going live and giving our thoughts on Hard Knocks. Uh, not Jake, unless Jake wants to join, but Trevor, Luke, and I. Um, we get a lot of angry comments on the, those videos, Jake, because people think it's the actual Hard Knocks stream. Pretty funny. People are <laughs> expecting to come in and see that, and it's just me saying, I don't like Brian Dayball. That's probably what it's going to be. But uh, I do like Dayball. I hate Darren Waller. I'm sure we'll get that. Um, but today, anything b- before uh, we jump into games, anything else on your end? Thank you all for a good season. I think uh, it's been a good one. I think uh, Zach and I would both say it was a weird one for life circumstances happening outside the show. Um, But in the show, I think we've always said that as much as we love our football seasons, our off football seasons are usually our our favorites. And this was one of our senior. The games were good. Mm -hmm. You know, learned a lot. True. And we had a theme AI theme song every single time. You can listen to all of them on the Flurry Sports yes. YouTube channel. And most views is the best one. Maybe it'll be our permanent one. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we play oh, games all season alley. long. Right. We play games all season long for money. And somehow, Jake, tied. We're tied going into the finale. So we got games today. We're going to break that tie. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. Uh, but we will see what happens there. At least three games there. But before, we just need to get warmed up. So this isn't an official game. Uh, but uh, get, gets the brain cells moving around a little bit. So I have an NHL game for you, Jake. The NHL draft just happened. It did. Good. Okay. I, <laughs> you seem a little surprised. I don't know. Uh, oh, you didn't hear man. I literally came to the show like, oh, man, I hope Zach doesn't ask me too much about the NBA draft. And meanwhile, a, a whole other draft happened. I was like coming yeah. at it elementary levels on NBA stuff. That's right. And I'm going to ask you, Jake, it's one question. It's a, <laughs> it has two options, and I'm going to see if you can do either. First one, name one player that was drafted. There yeah. were, <laughs> there were, uh, two hundred and twenty-five players drafted. I invite you to name one, and if you can't do that, name one of the top three picks for teams. Who okay. were name one team that was in the top three. All right, so it's going to be option two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play along at home. I can't imagine anybody knows anybody who was drafted. Unless Dalton Connect was somehow drafted in two sports. <laughs> he might have. I mean, I'll, I'll give you the, the name of the first overall pick. It gives Dalton Connect vibes. It's Macklin Celebrini. Wow. Yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. Macklin. That is crazy. Macklin yeah. Celebrini. That's an all time. Canada. Name. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, they also sound like like if you were like, "What's the prom queen?" Oh yeah, it's Macklin Celebrity. Like <laughs> for also, sure, those five. Macklin Celebrity was for sure the cheer captain. <laughs> yeah, for sure, she moved in from Norway. Um, okay, I Lindsay's been watching a lot of One Tree Hill, and I've been getting <laughs> sucked in. That show, by the way, is fucking batshit. Uh, she said yeah. it best when she said, "Every episode is a season finale." truthfully so much happens but i'm pretty confident somebody on that show's name is macklin celebrini by the way that's true so this is a this is a one tree hill fun fact that when they made the show they were so worried about people not knowing where the cw was more people were interested in the show than they were the cw so they couldn't count on people to find the show every week so like they'd find it one week because it was just on and then they'd have to count on so for a whole season they are like retaining viewers because it's just like Maybe they'll find us this week. So there's a Insane. little Wondery Hill action. Also, I think she's in season four right now. It's either four or five. It's fully sponsored by Sunkist. And it's so funny because <laughs> it was everywhere and I had to look it up. Uh, I think Sunkist is owned by Dr. Pepper, like a couple other things. And that was their marketing strategy for that year. Each like main product, they bought a show. So Sunkist paid a shit ton of money. To just be drank, drank by fucking Chad Michael Murray in the middle of a seat <laughs> as he tries to riz everybody on camera. 
Oh, yeah. Gosh dang. Great stuff. By the way, sun kissed. What happened? Uh, but yeah, that's <laughs> show great. got canceled. Yeah, they tied themselves to one tree hill. The only yeah. one who benefited from it was Gavin DeGraw. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. He with... goes so hard in that theme song, dude. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> I don't want to be. Oh, uh, it is good. Uh, top three Gavin DeGraw song for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go with <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with teams that are historically bad. Because I'm gonna give you three guesses too. Oh, three get I do I think I'm gonna be okay at this. I, I had okay. a general sense of how it went. Um, I, I'm gonna try and pick three teams who didn't make the playoffs, okay? And then we'll go Perfect. from there. But Perfect I mean strategy. right away, Columbus. Uh no, not Columbus. I don't even know where oh, they were number four. So whoops. Okay. You're close. Dude, they were close. Okay. Admirals. I no, don't wrong. think Senators. Admirals are a team. Okay, <laughs> <Admirals> Senators. <laughs> it's the Milwaukee Admirals. Uh, the, the Senators is a real team in the NHL. Senators, not one. Did Utah not announce their name yet, or are they actually going with Utah Hockey Club? Uh, not announced their team yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would have weird. forgotten Arizona. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with a non-Arizona guess because that's a good one. Sharks. Sharks were the first overall pick. Nice. You got it. So okay. Sharks, Blackhawks, and Ducks. Oh, Ducks was obvious. I did not think the Blackhawks were that bad. Yeah. I mean, they got Connor Bedard, but turns out you need more than one player. But now they yeah. got two. Now they and got by two. The way, we'll see what that's happens. the Oilers strategy. So see if it pans out. No kidding. No <laughs> kidding. Okay. We got warmed up now. Oh now God, it's time for a real third game. guess. That's crazy. <laughs> oh. Ho- and that's not on you that's not on you yeah hockey do better here's how you do that by the way hockey god honest truth ask this to hockey fans i bet six out of ten hockey fans at most get this right what city are the fucking florida panthers in <laughs> yeah right it's paradise right <laughs> yeah there's no yeah, way no, they, no one knows no Pro- they they know not tampa they would, <laughs> that's they would it. just pick a different one Took the joke out of my mouth. I was like, most okay. people would say Tampa, forgetting that that's a different Florida. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That is true. Yeah. NHL, most watched Stanley Cup final in history. Let's parlay it into fans. <laughs> like, you know, like a lot of people are like, oh my God, hockey's pretty good. Like, how can I get more? And then, surprise, here's a draft. You don't know anybody. Okay. Well, <laughs> could have done better, but that's fine. Okay. First game. And, uh, Let's call this game. There's no name. Okay. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> I got a bunch of movies here in the Rotten Tomato score from the experts, not the fans. Yeah. I'm going to give you a player and you're going to have to say, is their jersey number higher or lower than that movie's Rotten Tomato score? Wow. A lot of layers to this game. Okay. Here we go. Not that hard. If you need help with the jersey number, I can help you. Okay. There are three layers of this game, Zach. We'll see if I can hang in there. Okay, it's I'm ready. Pr- it's pr- it's pretty easy. All of the all of the movies are related to the player in some way. In my mind, you know how I <laughs> like. I think it's pretty easy to follow. First one, it's a new movie. It's Bad Boys, Ride or Die. That's okay. either the fourth one or something. I don't know. Yeah, didn't watch it. So Jake, is there tomato score? Higher or lower than Vontez Burfick's jersey number? Vontez oh, Burfick, notable bad boy. Zach, I didn't know. Okay, I'm back in. I thought you meant NHL jerseys. And I was like, for the no. love of fucking Christ. <laughs> um, no, like, ho- oh, no hockey player. <laughs> thank you. I was like, unless it's Chara, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, 90s. No, you're good. Yeah, okay. Uh, Burfick, uh, d- not asking for you to tell me, but I'm going to tell the folks, um, I believe his number to be 55. Um, so, uh, I'm going to say that uh, that is a pretty uh, good by you. That's a a good, tough one. But since it's the critic score, Oh, by the way, should put parameters on this. Yeah. So I have, if you get, there's eight of them. If you get six, we tie. If you get seven, you win. If you get five or fewer, I win this one. Okay. That's great. We got three games. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, because it's a critic score and it's a Will Smith movie in the year 2024, I'm going to go lower. 
Jake. The answer is actually higher. They gave him a 64. Yeah. That feels Nearly right. certified fresh. Really? They're certified. Not, that's awfully not fresh for a fresh I don't, I don't know what. Truly don't know what certified fresh means. I know it means good. I, I didn't, It doesn't say certified fresh. I, I didn't know Ron Tomatoes had a D's get degrees philosophy. <laughs> Basically. Uh, you'll see it's, that's certainly better than a lot of the movies I chose. I chose a lot of movies that are near and dear to me, you know? What are you going to do? You haven't seen uh, that movie. No. Uh, I've seen... <laughs> that wasn't one of the ones that was near and dear to you. Okay. I got yeah, you now. I knew I had to get Vontez perfect in a game in season eight. Like, what are we going to yeah. do? So, I had, had to... Oh, he's a bad boy. Look, mm-hmm. bad boy's new movie. Only topical movie I think I chose. Uh, but nonetheless, <laughs> you're own one. <laughs> okay, next one. Um, I have... Oh, I was going to choose a different player. This one does not tie, but we could tie it in if you would like. Bench Warmers is the movie, though. Okay, pretty good movie. Pretty solid movie. You said people who, it, this is their favorite movie, they're not funny, which I think is fair. <laughs> <laughs> if it's still your favorite movie, I'm not interested in your sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? Like, back when yeah. it came out, if you were in the same, like, grade level I was, sure, sure. I'd understand. Uh, let me look up this player's number really quick. Uh, I'll give it to you. Maybe you know it. Justin Fields. What's his number? Um, I think it's three. Oh, we're not doing that. It's one. That's too easy. <laughs> we're not booking it. Um, let's just say number uh, 10. Oh, <laughs> Whatever God. number 10 is. Yeah. I mean, Wally it's Zerbiak. bad. Wally Zerbiak. Yeah, there you go. Um, Notable bench warmer. Pat Mahomes. Uh, I let's say I think it's going to be slightly higher than that. I feel like some people I don't remember coming out and people being like, this is the worst movie that's ever existed. It was just a dumb comedy. So I think it's higher than 10. You're correct, but not by much. <laughs> Apparently you got a 13. That's too low. I mean, it's bad, dude. That one kid's afraid of sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Swartz, it's not really a kid, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. He just wears the shortest shorts. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Okay. Great movie, but still, you're one and one. One, and, yeah, one and one, two, one of two. Um, Next one, Remember the Titans. All time classic. Incredible yeah. movie. Um, Are they higher or lower than the number for one of my favorite players in the NFL and probably the best Titan right now, one of them, Peter Skronsky? Love me some Skaronsky. Can you give, give me position? You offensive. I think he played guard, but he's a guard tackle. Okay. 60s. Um, 60s, 70s. 70s. Yeah. 70s. 70s. Okay. Uh, so this is hard because it's just to talk through it for folks at home. I'm sure the audience score of Remember the Titans is in the fucking 90s. Uh, for sure. But, yeah, 100%. The critic score... I'll give you his number if you want. I don't expect you to know Peter Skronsky's number because he's too busy burying defenders. It's hard to see it. Is it is it 78? 77. Mm. It's always the high 70s. Okay. Uh, mm. I'm going to say it's been higher twice in a row. I'm going to go that it's slightly lower, especially because I think it should be higher. So this is a counterculture guess. I'm going to guess lower. It is lower. Uh, 71. Mm. So... That's wrong. A little that, above average. That movie solved but racism. It did. It did. I got to watch it in every class. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Strong side. Uh, okay, so you got two now. Pretty good. Next one. <laughs> this is one of my favorite comparisons I made. Um, let's see if you can remember why this player ties to this movie. Uh, but the, the movie's The Mummy with Brendan <laughs> Fraser. Classic. Zach Such Wilson. Good, uh, no. Uh, I have David and Joku. I do not. <laughs> Why does David and Joku relate to that? Remember this year he burned his face off in the house fire? Oh, that he, he was all wrapped shit. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, no one like brought it up for a while because it was like rude. Um, okay, is yeah. he 88 or something? 85. 
listen, I'm already like, this is not the way the game's supposed to be played. I'm already in a state of the mummy can't be higher rated than remember the Titans. Not how I should <laughs> be playing the game. Not yeah, at all. Knows? But I, yeah, a hundred percent. I did not watch coach Boone put his life on the line to see him get a lower score than Brendan Frazier. Uh, that's right. But that's a high rating for a movie that I thought was like, Honestly, it's now overrated because people are like, this is the movie that made me love Brendan Fraser. And I'm like, <sighs> not George of the Jungle. It's yeah, good. George of the Jungle for me. George of the Jungle for me. And Ceno Man, great. Uh, Sob and Scrubs. How could you not love him in Scrubs? I Okay. I To be honest, remember the Titans was rated too low. I'd, I would have guessed critics should have given that like an 80 five and so i put the mummy at 80 either way i'm gonna go lower but god maybe i'm just wrong but i missed this boat a little bit generationally but i'm gonna guess lower i understand it got better once you know the scorpion king came the rock <laughs> the final boss um the mummy got a 62 so you're correct but critics aren't correct that's a 100 out of 100 movie what are we doing incredible movie it's yeah okay i'm with you that that's too low that's too low but it, yeah. the thought that they like watched those two movies and were like mm, close i don't <laughs> yeah yeah like uh, uh i really get what the mummy was going for this cgi looks really good mm -hmm. that's true that is true um honestly <laughs> i'm still afraid of bugs because that movie true yeah Beatles. I, cool. yeah they're gonna go under your skin guaranteed um, you got three out of four. So low far. man wins. Low man does win. <laughs> they don't talk about that. Bugs do have leverage over us, and that's not okay. Um, next one, Jackass Forever, cult classic, just incredible stuff. That's the newest one. I was um, just gonna ask, is that the latest? Okay. Yep. Yep. Jackass Forever, or Luka Doncic, his jersey number, notable Jackass. <laughs> All right, NBA jersey numbers are a little bit of a free-for-all for me. Um, I'm going to guess his jersey number is below 50. No. Oof. <laughs> no Same number as Skronsky. Wants to be oh, just really? Like 77. Okay. Um, no. Okay. Uh, and then, <laughs> I mean, I like Jack. It's got to be lower than 77. I. It, it's got to be, right? I, I'm going to go that it's a lower critic score than 77. I'd be curious what the highest Jackass score ever is, but I would guess it's lower than 77. Fuck you, dude. Like, I, you saw the Jackass wrestling match, and you said that's one of the best matches of all time. I, I'd give that match a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's it's honestly 10. It's perfect for what it is, but the it's not Jackass's best movie. I I mean, with what they were working with, Jake, I think Jack, it was perfect for what it is. And critics agree with me. It gave him an 86. No fucking way. Really? Yeah. Better than remember the Titans. Easy. <laughs> There's no plot. It's not a movie. It's, it's a YouTube a movie. video. It's a, it's a compilation. But you, see, <laughs> but you see, did you see Johnny get that fucking pool ball shoved up his ass? Great. <laughs> It is hard to critique the giant hand. That's true. That That's is true. Fucked. Really? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I actually should have known. Oh man, the hint should have been Luca because I was like, 77's crazy high." That, I was, was trying to pull you to the under. It worked. All right. Uh, so best I can do is tie. Okay. Correct. Here we go. Correct. Next one. Uh, this movie just came up on its 20th anniversary, so I watched it uh, this week. White Chicks. I never really watched it. It's okay. It's, it's okay. dumb. It's yeah. dumb. It's funny. It's dumb. Da, 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 uh, but da, da, I thought da, da, it was da. good. It was better than I thought it would be. Now, who is the only white chick we know and care about, Jake? <laughs> Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Okay. So what is Caitlin Clark's number? Everybody knows. It's WNBA, growing sport. Everyone loves it. Most popular player on the planet. Not in the Olympics, but. You know, she's still pretty good. Okay. Um, I actually do know her number. It didn't change from Iowa, right? No. All right, 22. Okay. Yep. Um, 
I love symmetrical numbers. So that's honestly <laughs> the only reason I knew it. I I'm gonna say. Last one was higher. I okay. I'm just going with my gut on this. I'm I'm in like a bad scenario, but I think oh, it was not. I mean, it was not well received. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's definitely called classic. Those That's black guys were racist towards white people. Not good. A hundred, hundred percent. We didn't like Terry Crews yet. Okay, I, I for a critic score. Yeah, I'm going to guess lower, I guess, than 22. Correct. Uh, White Chick's got a 15. So beat, beat bench warmers. White <laughs> 2 is insane. White 2. <laughs> yeah. Um, White Terry is Cruz. 60 degrees lower than Jackass. <laughs> <for her. laughs> yeah. That's just not true. That's so funny. Terry Crews is so good in White Chicks, by the way. He's so yeah. funny. He is He's the best part of the movie. movie. For sure, one hundred percent. But yeah, fifteen. Next one. How uh, many left? Two. Great. Two. Okay. So get them both right, then we tie. We go into the next game. This movie, I'll, I, I'll admit, I have not seen. Okay. It's a Steven Seagal movie. Oh, no. So, <laughs> so that probably sets it. Under sets siege. The bar. It's called a uh, contract to kill. What Did year? that get a higher? Uh, contract to kill was 2016. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'm in the right frame of reference. All right. There we go. Okay. Okay. Higher or lower than Brandon Ayuk, who also has a contract he's looking to kill. <laughs> Pretty good tie-in. Thank you. Uh, Going out with a bang here in season eight. Brandon Ayuk, can you remind me position? Wide receiver. Yep. Okay. I mean... Not as helpful want, as I was hoping for. <laughs> you want his number? <laughs> it's, I'll give it's, you his number. Yes, yeah, it is it between 10 and 20? Yes. Yeah. Uh had to be. I was like, you wouldn't throw me like an 88 there, would you? Uh you but, like I got a 99. Can you believe it? <laughs> 2016, back when he was a <laughs> sheriff. Um, yeah. okay. Whatever it is. Oh, no, I so I I think this is part of the game. I don't know his exact number, but I've got a range. Uh, now the question is just how bad is it? But I sincerely think that during this time they were like, "What is Steven Seagal doing?" So <laughs> I'm gonna guess lower. You're correct. This movie got a zero. <laughs> there we go. That's a good. That's a good bet. Yep. Yeah, could it, it could have bench warmers be the lowest movie out here? Honestly, that would have been you should have gave me Justin Fields. <laughs> I, I that been brutal. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know that would have been a tough one for you. Okay, last one. Another great one. Another topical one here. Kazam. That's the movie with Shaq. Shaq. Okay. Higher or lower than Bronny James's number that he picked with the Lakers, which is a reflection of his dad. How cute. Yeah. So his number is what? 32? No, LeBron's six. So flipper oh. upside down. <laughs> Nine. Gotcha. So creative. God. Sorry. That speaks to my NBA fandom. I was like, he's still 23, isn't he? <laughs> Wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's st- he flipped a few times. A hundred percent back when he was like, I'm a Cavs guy now. Whatever, dude. Stick to your Wait, is he, lo- is he 23? Or did he switch again? <laughs> no, I'm wondering. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, he is 23. Then why do they talk about how it's a reflection? Okay, whatever. Of one it's of nine. his numbers. Of one of his fucking numbers. That's crazy. Okay, There's so no nine. way he brought that up then. It's just like, what's an available jersey number? Nine, because your dad had a reflection of it. Wow. Okay. Sure, I'll take it. It's how Thanks many points we're hoping you average. How many points we're hoping you score in the G League? <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm going to say LeBron, congrats on free agency, by the way. Hope it goes well for you. Can't I hope he leaves. There's no shot he leaves, but that would be so funny. Lakers should be like, I mean, historically lowballing him. 
They literally have his son hostage. I know they won't, but it would be funny if they were like five dollars. Yeah, if there was <laughs> I mean, like, what's the worst case scenario? <laughs> I mean, you leave Ronnie it? holds out and then Yeah, oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. pick someone up. Okay. Uh all that said, I'm definitely stalling. I mean, Kazam, another one. I think so. Here's my thought on this. It's talked about as like one of the worst movies ever now that doesn't necessarily mean it's lower than a nine but i do think that it was in the convo for like one of the lower ron tomato scores for a while so i'm gonna go lower than nine jake you are correct nice because i'm got a five Not wow tied. yeah tied you're still tied we got to head into another game and yeah. Prevent defense, baby works again. <laughs> this one, this one's going to be in your, in your wheelhouse. So we got a game in your wheelhouse. It's a good one. It's a trivia game okay. and better yet. It's an NFL trivia game. Nice. You're welcome. And uh, it's about Taekwondo. Be, <laughs> yes. And why would I be doing a trivia game? If not to mention that the Floyd sports YouTube channel has trivia videos oh. daily, Monday through Friday. And these questions that you hear right now, will be in future videos. So you have a little freebie, a little free point that you can use and feel extra smart with your friends. You all of these pick ones I submitted, did you? No, I just did all of these. Because nice. these are these are really fun questions, I think. Um, they are all, which team did this player not play for? Let's go. Okay. Here so there's a nostalgia trivia here. First one, there's five. So you got to get four to tie, five to win, three to... <laughs> Three loose because if we go into sudden death uh, with another tie, I think that's fun. Okay, uh, but you have a good shot with these, obviously. No old players. Um, first one's Adrian Peterson. So yep. that this is this is the time range I'm working with. Adrian Peterson's. Yeah, we're not going to go older than him. Gotcha. Which team did Adrian Peterson not play for? Multiple choice, three answers, like all the Florida sports trivia questions. First one, Seahawks. Second one, Raiders. Third one, Titans. <laughs> Not going to lie. All the confidence in my head, I was like, all right, Vikings, Cardinals, two other places. And you picked <laughs> two other motherfuckers. I was hoping Cardinals would sneak in there. I, By the way, he also played for the Saints and Lions. Yeah, I did know. I would have known Saints. Um, yeah. I did not know Lions. Uh so out of those, to be totally honest with you, the first one struck me as incorrect right away. Now I'm running a risk of if I if I thinking of am I just thinking of Randy Moss? <laughs> yeah, he played for that's those true. teams. But I and I'm going to say this and leave myself open to being really wrong. Uh, I got a really strong nostalgia vibe when you said Titan. Uh, so I was between the first two, and I'm going to say that he has not played for the Seahawks. Lock it in. Lock it in. Okay. Adrian Peterson played for the Titans. You're correct. I don't think it was long. I think it was no. one season. Who knows how many games? I have no idea. Adrian Peterson also played for the Seahawks. So he did not play for the Raiders. I think he played two games for the Seahawks. It was not long. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I know. Best I could do is tie. Lock it in, baby. Okay, here we you go. Next one. Favorite of mine, Frank Gore. Which team did Frank Gore not play for? Oof, the tough. Washington Redskins, the Miami Dolphins, or the Buffalo Bills? Fucker. Okay. Um, Here's the hard piece with Frank Gore. I'm just going to talk through it as I think about it. I knew as you were going, because the, the hard part with his career is – he played two places for a long time. He was in yeah. Minneapolis for at least five seasons, I believe. Uh, that, yeah. And in San Francisco for just as long, a little longer. So mm -hmm. these couple, and he might have had even more than that, came right at the end. I feel like he was on like four teams in a season for a little bit there. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's uh, run me through the teams one more time. We got the Washington Redskins, and I'm not doing a trick like Redskins yeah. football team, uh, Miami Dolphins, or Buffalo Bills. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I got to go off vibes. I do not know this. Uh, I think I'm going to guess that again, the strongest vibe I got was that he played for a little bit on the dolphins. And I think he gave me two AFC East teams as a little bit of a do si do. So I'm going to guess that he was with Washington and then the Dolphins. So not with the Bills. Not with the Bills. Okay. He did play with the Dolphins. That was a big deal because he's from Miami. So Correct. Coming home. His son is currently on the Buffalo Bills. Rookie. Signed yeah. there. Frank Gore also played there. He did not play for the Washington Redskins. Gosh, dang it. Why do I keep thinking of other people because i at that time i was like where did marshall lynch play <laughs> true that is true okay okay you know what go, go three for three we'll call it a wash yeah okay? three in a row three in a row that's gotta yeah. be worth something okay yeah Especially momentum <laughs> momentum's a big deal yeah okay here we go people lock in okay next one's toughest possibly because this player has the nfl record for most teams started for and that's ryan fitzpatrick about a quarterback. Okay, here we go. Yep, you're right. Correct. So, which team did he not play for? The Houston Texans, the Cincinnati Bengals, or the Arizona Cardinals? Okay. Um, he definitely played for Houston. <laughs> I say that opening myself up for a possible injury, but I think he definitely played for Houston. Uh, and... I feel like in their cluster bleep of like, what the hell are we going to do uh, after the Rosen thing didn't work out in Arizona? I think he was there for a bit. So, God, I don't remember him in the Dalton McCarron in bet- Oh, God, the weird in between times before they got to Burrow in Cincy, but I, I, I'm just going to. I'm just going to guess since he, I feel, I feel like I remember him on the other two teams. So I'm going to guess he was never a Bengal. Definitely. Definitely Texans. Yeah. I believe he played, (laughs) he played for the Bengals before Andy Dalton. He was there for a couple of years. So he never played for the Cardinals. You know what, Jake, you get them all wrong. (laughs) It's pretty impressive. (laughs) Okay, now we're playing for pride, people. That's all this is. Yeah. Yeah, now it's a different game. Now you have to say which team did he play for. You'll have two choices out of three. Ready? (laughs) All right. I'm bring it. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. I'm I'm gonna go with the one I was gonna do last, but it's probably an easier one because it's a player you really enjoy. That's Jamal Charles. Great running back, wonderful running back. I feel like I got to do a Donald Trump impression. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, Jamal Charles, did he play for the Denver Broncos, Jacksonville Jaguars, or Houston Texans? One of those teams he did not play for. Jamal Charles famously got my dad to yell at me during my first season of fantasy football because he said, who the fuck is Jamal Charles? Why would you draft him? Because he did not start the first game of that season before. Returning a halfback <laughs> draw, 96 yards for a touchdown. Uh, but nice. I'm a little in the dark on Jamal, to be honest Ooh. with you. Uh, <laughs> I remember his first couple teams, obviously students with the Chiefs, and then these three are really eluding me. So I – oh, man, I'm getting Denver vibes, but – all right, so it's it's Denver, and then who are the other two teams? Denver, Jacksonville, and Houston. Houston felt the strongest to me. Uh, I'm going to say guys tend to end up back in the same division after a little bit, so I'm I'm going to say Jacksonville he never played for. Okay, are, are you doing that, or are you doing which one he did play for? No, Zach, I, if I do that on the last one, fine. But right now we're playing for pride. Okay, he he, he played for Jacksonville. Fuck! He played, <laughs> I think he played two games, not much. Uh, his biggest stint after the Chiefs was the Broncos, which I think was still only one season. Yeah. Never played for Houston. You said that was your strongest one. 
he feels like a Texan though, doesn't he? I I really thought he did. He does feel like a Texan. I've learned something for for <laughs> four ones in. Okay, here's the okay. strategy you don't do. <laughs> Boy, can I not remember who played running back after Arian Foster? Perhaps Jamal Charles played there. Not a strategy. Don't do that. Like if I can't remember who it is, that doesn't mean it's Jamal Charles. Yeah, I'm trying to think who they had. They had Alfred Blue for a second. Um, Sam Congato got a nice little little yeah. cup of uh, coffee there. Was <laughs> a cup of water. Um, stay <laughs> hydrated. Summer. It's Florida Sports Summer. Yeah. Um, okay, last one. Name the team Reggie Bush played for. There's two of them out of three. Okay, Reggie Bush. You remember him? Newly yeah. named Heisman winner. Uh, the Oakland Raiders, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Buffalo Bills. Zach, I th- I think I know what team he didn't play for. Okay. I, I would love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. This <laughs> sucks. I really – like you were saying it. This is – I really, because you said 49ers. Correct. What was the second team? Uh, the three teams are the 49ers, the Raiders, and the Bills. I In my head, I was like, he played for the 49ers and the Raiders. I had that going in to it. Uh, it the, Fred Jackson and Lynch were eating up time in Buffalo. <laughs> I'm going back to the strategy that didn't work. Uh, and you know what? That one guy named Fred was there for a while. I can't remember his last name right now, but uh, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> say Fred Jackson, I think. But I yeah, uh, yeah I'm gonna say that he never played in Buffalo. I I know you gave me an out, but I feel good about the other two teams. Okay, I respect it. I respect going all in. I respect sticking to it. It's for pride. Um, I gave you a chance just to tie it. You said no, no, no. I would like to go into this last one down. Yep. Uh, because, uh, you know, if you win the next game, then it's a tie, and that would just anger me, yeah. uh, which is not what I wanted. Uh, he did not play for the Bills. He did not play for the 49ers. Or, no, he did play for the Bills. He did oh, play wow. for the 49ers. He did not play for the Raiders. The Raiders is what you were looking for. Why does everyone feel like they played in a black jersey? I Raiders love athletes that are washed up. That's kind of my... <laughs> Fuck me. That's the second guy I've done that to. He yeah. played in New Orleans. That's what I'm thinking True. of. Okay. Yeah. You know what, Zach? I'm going in down, but I'll tell you what's about to happen. If, you know, you give me the parameters here, I win this because I can't, you know, I, I got to win points on this one to tie it here. Mm-hmm. If I do that, I'll give you a game. And you'll okay, have a if chance. you win it. Yeah, if okay. I win it. Okay, Jake. This is what we're going to do. Since we are not both competing here, uh, I was going to do it one way. We're going to do it the other way. We're going to go back to a classic. We're going to go back to a fan favorite. How old is this athlete? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, here we go. Here we go. The the reversed. Who is this age? So um, I'm going to pick a number. Got to remember, not pick the same number as I did last time, which should be easy, but for some reason it's not. Um. What sport do you want to do? How about that? I'll let you pick the sport. Am I allowed to pick baseball? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Google guys. All right. I'm going to go baseball then. Okay. So I'm going to say the number, the age you're going to go for. I'm going to go with retired, not too retired, but I'm going to go with retired. Babe. <laughs> 84. Good luck. Um, Let's go 47. Okay, so this game is, I have to name a guy who's 47. Yes, and I guess the way for you to win is you have to do it in five guesses. Okay. Okay, I will research. Can I sweeten the pot and say, if I get it in, okay, are you giving me any info when I get it wrong? Like how I'll give you the right. Yeah, I'll I'll search it on the screen here. Yeah, you'll tell me how old the person I guessed is. Okay. Um yeah. if I get it within for you tell me one or two, I just win. Ooh. Straight up. If yeah. I get it in sure. one, let's make it dramatic. If I get it in one, I just win. Okay, you sound confident, but sure. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm not, but uh, okay. I've got a guy who's close. Um, the trick here with baseball guys is they play pretty old, uh, and most are done like by their 40s. So I'm thinking, trying to think of guys who played a very long time and retired a decent amount of time ago, which is a little bit tough. So first thought is like a Jeter. And all these guys are in that range. Like I would guess Jeter, like Jeter started playing when he was really young and his first year is 96. He retires, you know, so let's say he's 20-ish. And I think he was like 20, 21 in 96. That would make him uh, just 40 now. So, okay. Is that right? If he was 20 in 1996, how would he be in 2024? Uh, he'd be th- 30. So he'd be 50. 30. Yeah. Yeah. 48. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. 48 is pretty damn close to 47. That's what they <laughs> say. Um, so yeah. that math in there, I'm going to, I'm going to start with his teammate. And if it's Jeter, I'm going to really kick myself, but I think he's probably a slightly younger than that. I'm going to go with Mariano Rivera, who was on all the same teams as Jeter, but retired slightly sooner. Uh, 54. Fuck. <laughs> okay, great. All right. There's a nice range. Okay. Uh, sick. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> These guys played longer than I thought. Freak me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Plans out the window. I really was hoping he'd be within like one or two, and then I'm just picking Yankees out of a hat. Okay. (laughs) This this is where my brain becomes not helpful because now my brain immediately goes, who's seven years younger than Mariano Rivera? (laughs) Yeah. Great question, actually. (laughs) Which is probably not the way to play this game. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go someone who's younger for sure. All right. Another guy. Okay. This I think I know – I can figure out this guy's exact age, which is probably helpful. Uh, yeah. Ichiro Suzuki, I believe, debuted. I, he debuted in the year 2001 in MLB. He was either 28 or 29 because that's the fun fact that is that he was in Japan for so long. So all of his like legendary all-time hitting statistics actually occurred. Like, imagine if he was 10 years younger. So. Hmm. He's, I, I feel really confident about his age. So I think he was 29 in 2001. Okay. Let's hope that that magically gets me to 47. Now this is just me no, doing that. It's, no, well. it's not. Frick me. Okay. So he's 49. Oh man. Okay. Hold on. He's a good, <laughs> he might be the exact same age as Mariano Rivera. Not yeah. my guess, but can you, can you look up each row just to see if I pulled two 54 yeah. year olds in a row? 50, 50. Yep. okay, okay, not a guess, not a guess, but I, I, for a second there was like, oh man, I think I did the same age <laughs> twice, okay, um, I, I do, this is going to be the white whale of this, after all these guesses, I think Jeter's too old, so I'm going to go with a guy who retired pretty recently, two years ago, but I think he retired at like 44, so he'd be he'd be 46 47 this year if he retired the year i think he did which is kind of the whole thing so i'm i'm going to go with albert pujols okay um, 44 okay <laughs> we've got it surrounded <laughs> folks who's <laughs> It was three years older than Albert, three years younger than Ichiro. That's right. Jake's circling his prey right now. He's got it. I am. Uh, Okay, so Albert's a guy. So this is the thing with baseball. Like, they come in so young and play so long. I could have picked a different sport, but especially if you'd pick 47. I mean, I would have been boned in basketball. I would have had to go football, I guess. Um, And even then... Like, I think this was still my best bet. The only hard part with baseball is I'm now thinking of guys who, like, de- like Albert probably debuted in, like, 2002. 
So like, that's the only thing is I, I do have to go quite a ways back. And even there, I'm probably looking for someone, you know, a few years before. So you got some hints on the screen. It looks like too, if those help you. Oh, my eyesight ain't that good. And I got some pride on the light. Don't worry. I need, I got two more guesses and I was hoping to avoid this guy, but we're going here. Uh, he debuted before Albert. God, how much older is he than that? Uh, yeah, is uh, no A Rod's A Rod's too old. I was thinking A Rod. I I just think he's closer to Mariano. Did, that is not how you say his name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, said yeah, two gods. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, it sounded like Tim Kirchner a little bit. Mariano, now a <laughs> uh, little bit of a Baltimore accent. Okay. Uh, Keep her moving a little bit here. So I'm thinking of like studs in that era. Uh, I am going to go with, boy, this is one out of the dark. God, I shouldn't be doing these type of guesses, but I'm going to, I'm going to go Carlos Beltran. He did Bingo! it. Boom! Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't know who the hell this guy is, but so they were teammates, and he won rookie of the year in like the early two thousands. I didn't th talk to my logic because I thought it might be jinxing me. So I just knew he was older than Albert. He's a fresh forty seven too. End of April. Look at you. Wow. Well, what you did know was we're friends. I was <laughs> yeah, just joking okay. it. Yeah. Wow. Incredible, incredible stuff. Incredible, incredible stuff. So oh, no, hold on. The whole time it was killing me. Derek Jeter. <laughs> is he the same? <laughs> He's got to be older. 50. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, if he'd been 47 just that whole time. Yeah. Been kind of crushing. Zach, I'm not going to lie. I have a tiebreaker game for you, but it, it is the exact game you just gave me. Awesome. <laughs> Great stuff. But, it was what I thought of before you said it. And so there, but I will offer you the exact same conditions. I, I will allow you to pick the sport. Okay. Uh, so you tell me the sport and then I'll let that determine my age slightly. Okay. I'll do football. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to have you do retired. Do I mean to look up the age at the same time again? No, nope, I'm on it. Okay. All right. I had it give me a number between 45 and 65, and it gave me 48, which I think is definitely okay. doable. So I'm going to say same parameters, like we're tied. So I'm going to say you got five guesses to do it. I'm going to add in huh. this wrinkle. If it takes you five exactly, I get a rebuttal. You get a what? Rebuttal. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll do that's this fair. forever. Okay. Okay. So 48, you said. Yep. And I will look them up as you talk. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. So if they're typically 21, 22 out of college. Um, the bad so part is really the kicker. Years ago, 2006. I'm going to start with AJ Hawk. I think he's in the 2006 draft class. He's around okay. there. Yeah, I will say he is younger than I would have guessed. He is 40 years old. Oh. Oh, I did the math wrong. Yeah, but to check your to check your math, he was born in 84, so in 2000 uh, 2006 he was uh he was 22. Okay. Okay, so I'm going Okay, I got to go back to 98 then. Correct? Yeah. Yep, yep, By yep. that same logic? Okay. 100%. Okay. Um, AJ Hawks, 40, who is two contracts before him. That's my logic. That's, a, yep. Whew. Okay. That would also be, I'm trying to think of Madden. <laughs> yeah. I would say, as you think this through, just to give people something to chew on, I think as you play this at home, the fun thing is, like, I would say the first three guesses feel, like, free, but then you've only got two left. <laughs> That's yeah. where it gets scary. It's like the first three, it's like, wow, I feel like I've collected good data. 
shit i still don't know like who's that exact age right um if i'm going with a quarterback which is what i refused to do last time at a guess yeah uh, people um tom brady's what like 45 he's like right around there a um, little older than Tom Brady, which seems like the oldest person alive somehow when I'm trying to think right now. It's like, who could possibly be older than Tom Brady is? Um, Jay Cutler is not older than Tom Brady, is he? Free one. No, he's not. <laughs> Don't waste Jay your Cut- guest on Jay Cutler. I won't Come allow on. it. I love Jay Cutler. Um, okay, fine. I'm abandoning quarterbacks. It's pissed me off. I'm going to... <laughs> okay, good, good. You, as you should. Uh, I'm going to go with Fred Taylor, Jacksonville running back. He might be too young. Okay, Fred Taylor. That's a crazy poll by you, I just want to say. Great player, underrated player. Motherfucker. Fred Taylor, 48 years Woo-hoo! old. You what got it on Fred Taylor. Man, I was so ready to clown you because here's why. You <laughs> oh, went no. down the quarterback hole and you you had the math exactly right. Name a quarterback <laughs> who graduated college in 1998. Everyone at home, say it with me. Peyton, Peyton Manning. <laughs> He's 48 years old. I checked it. I was like, oh, no, he's got that exactly. And then, but I was confident. I was like, he's going to give up on quarterbacks. I, yeah. When you went into it, I was like, oh, man, he said, Tom, he's he's going to land on Peyton. Rock, gone. I was so, I couldn't be closer to Peyton. And then I went to a running back in his division. Yeah, you went and that led you to Fred Taylor. What a pull by you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, our winner. This, oh. this is a look into my mind, by the way. I would get every math question wrong because I wouldn't show my work correctly. I got to the answer. I just didn't take the freebie. No, correct. Uh, so many names. And this is you in a nutshell. Like, you got there faster than I would have because even if I didn't go quarterback, like, the guys I was thinking of weren't quite right. So it was like Randy Moss. He's a year too young. So I like thought of him. <laughs> that was a close one, yeah. LT is a couple years younger. I was like, okay, guys. I was like thinking that. LT, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, you went, you went to Freddie Taylor, motherfucker, and you went put him in the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? It, there's there's a lot of undeserving people there. He is deserving. Go look up some Fred Taylor clips. That's what I want you to do during the week off next week. Um, and go and comment on Jake's. Uh, Roman Reigns bloodline civil right. war video. It doesn't matter if it's relevant to the, the content matter. You can, like I said, leave suggestions of what you want to see from, if you want Jake to do more wrestling stuff, or if you want specific kind of video from us or podcast from us during the break. Um, again, Olympics coming up. I can only imagine we're going to be doing some drafts or brainstorming around how to make the Olympics better and stuff like that. Cause that's what we do. We make things better. That's right. And Zach, as a reminder for folks at home, our goal is that by the football season, we are 13 and a half K on YouTube right now. Our goal is 14 K. Which we will do. That's right. Our stretch goal by the end of January, by the Royal Rumble, if we hit 15 K by the time the Royal Rumble, we're in full big pop up pup cosplay. We're going to get chain mail. We're going (laughs) to, we're probably going to die. I was thinking, I was thinking about that. It's pretty much just chain mail. (laughs) That's the best part. And I think you dyeing your facial hair. Yeah. For, yeah. Right. Right. I'll wear <laughs> I mean, sunglasses and yeah. you'll do the facial hair piece. I, and the folks, that's just, a, I would, if I could, I'll do <laughs> Yeah. Correct. Well, we'll get some stick on ones or something. I mean, yes. Also, there has to be a Scott Snyder costume. What, what like what costume though? I bet there's a Halloween costume. Maybe. Maybe I'm, I'm down. I'm down for whatever it is. It's just I was just thinking like Scott Snyder's pretty. He has a pretty simple look. It's notable. It's unique. There's okay, not many. Parts. I will say there are people dressed up as if for Halloween, but it's not like a costume you could buy. It is. Yeah. It's the chainmail. Yeah, chainmail, shirtless, <laughs> sunglasses, goatee. Okay, sure. And it's, I'll commit to the bit. 
I'll get just as shredded as Scott Steiner. I will take every steroid <laughs> possible. I will do it for the show. You're welcome. Yeah. Then try and get to baseball. That'll be like the part <laughs> two of that. Zach, yeah. here's my question for you for the end of the show. Okay. You mentioned the start. We've been doing these AI songs all year. Yeah. I don't think it's fair to have the finale one like be a possibility. So I'm almost wondering if we could crown here at the end of our season mm. the folks' favorite. Because, listen, it w- I don't want it to be that monstrosity from last week anyway. <laughs> that one was a night. It's nightmare fuel. It's not good, but it's it's interesting. Uh, so you're wondering what the most viewed one prior to that was, correct? Correct. Let's see. Is that I, one the most viewed? Last week's? Yeah. No, no way. No, it is not. <laughs> it's um, like I, I could I could watch it again. It's between join the party, mm. taking you higher. Um, it's between those two. Should we let's let's have a listen to them? How about that? And yeah, then we'll it. crown it. Okay, so first one is join the party. So let me bring it up. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, this is the one you love. This one. I did this like is this, one. this is that Latin flair one. <laughs> okay. Here we go. From basketball to football, they cover it all. Never afraid to speak, never afraid to call. Angel Hernandez, the umpire supreme. The best in the game, fulfilling every dream. Oh, 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 oh. I'm listening to the podcast show. Furry sports got the rhythm, get on the floor and let go. Talking sports all day and night. Pretty good. Very solid. Pretty good. I will say before you play this next one, I think we're going to, I would suggest we listen to three because I think we do take it higher. Flurry Sports Groove is only two views less than taking you higher. Is that true? I believe you. Um, okay. I mean, I'm let, let, okay. Let once I get that up, let's do take. Oofta. Okay. Things happening on the back end here. You guys can't hear or see. Um, just no, I got music blasted in my fucking ears. Um, here we go for, uh, taking you higher while I figure out this other one. I don't remember this one at all. Zach and Jake oh. bringing the heat. Funny sports talking every week. Diving deep, leaving you laughing. Out. I'm sure it was the Creed. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's where my mind was. I really like that. That's really delightful. I will I will straight up say between the two so far, that's the pick. Because the other one, as much as I like it, it gets better two minutes in, which is not what you need for an intro video. That is true. That's a good point. Um, I'm not sure if taking you higher represents everything we got on Flurry Sports, but it's very nice. Like <laughs> it's very it nice is, to listen to. It is very nice. We'll lull them in. You know, it, it's for sure it would fit our summer vibe. That's true. That we should have seasonal themes. You're right. That's what we're doing next. All right. uh, so that might be the, the theme of Flurry Sports Summer. Uh, but let's listen to Flurry Sports Groove. Do you remember what this one is? I think it's like the disco one, but we'll see. Oh, it says jazz. 
Okay, so maybe that's maybe that's what I'm thinking of. We'll find out. Oh, I didn't have it up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come down around, sports fans. Listen close like to the tale of two jokers, Zach and Jake. They're coming at you. You got the stories, the laughs, and all the scores. It's the Flurry Sports Podcast. Ain't nothing like it before. Zach's got the wit. Jake's got the charm. They're talking all things sports, keeping it warm. From football to basketball, hockey to baseball. Every episode's a hit. It's a guaranteed ball. So let's get moving. Swing to the Flurry Sports Crew. It's fucking good. It's very <laughs> good. Up and let your worries just Grab your popcorn, settle in, let's have a blast with Zach and Jake, the Flurry Sports Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Doesn't it get like super epic at the end? Yeah. Cast. Cast. Oh. Moving, swing oh, yeah, right there. Here we go. This is sick. That's that was that was good too. We had some really good ones this this year. I'm I'm impressed to be completely honest for like what it was able to create. We had some really good ones, and I will I will say like the the finale one might be the like vibe of song I liked the most. Uh, yeah, it was good. I do think if I were gonna, I like the solution we've possibly landed on, which is I think take me higher is a great summer vibe, and I think, I think next so. season. We land on, uh, I, I just like, I like the vibe of the group, but I also, the lyrics, um, I don't think we've ever gotten better than Zach's got the wit, Jake's got the charm. They're yeah. keeping the sports topics warm. warm. Is, yeah, uh, not. Is, <laughs> not on, it's one of the best descriptions I've ever heard in the show. Not hot yeah. topics. Usually you hear those ones. We, we, that, should be the, that should be the description of the show. Zach and Jake talk about warm topics. <laughs> so true they will like kendrick and down. lamar 100%. kendrick and drake kendrick and lamar i'll bring him back into it let's go <laughs> but i yeah 100 percent. i think uh that was exactly where my brain was going or you know hockey today it's not right, hot yeah it's warm no so no, it was hot for a hot second a literal second one game i know so I think that's the plan, but thank you all so much for another good season. It is fun to get to do this with you all. And honestly, probably one of the most like successful seasons we've had. A lot of good eyes on things Flurry Sports right now. So can't thank you enough for both supporting this and everything else we're doing, uh, especially as we head into the mother load of times, which, of course, Flurry Sports Summer, a.k.a. Hard Knock season. That's right. That's right. They talk about hard knocks on HBO Max. They don't talk about hard knocks on the Flurry Sports YouTube channel. We come from the school of hard knocks, don't we, Jake? Uh, <laughs> and that is what we strive to give you during the Flurry Sports summer. Um, so let, let, head into your summer, go to the beach, and then we'll be see you in two weeks, okay? Two weeks. Come two back. Weeks. Don't forget about us. Miss you. Love you. I'm going to be a different person. In two oh. weeks, I think we'll have gone to ludicrous. Is that true? Uh, in two, <laughs> that is such a good observation by you. Uh, two weeks from today, we will have just gotten back from Ludacris. This is going to be the most action packed summer. Listen to this two weeks from today, you'll get another Flurry Sports podcast episode. You're welcome. Jake and I have gone to Ludacris, and it'll be a mere days before I go to see Creed, Finger 11, and Switchfoot. The vibes are going to be high. That's all I'll say. That's it. It's going to be a great time. So we will see you then. Oh, farewell to a podcast season. It went by so fast through laughter and through the tears. Here's too many.